first of all, you should never put all your eggs in one basket, but especially not the bond market right now with the, all the money printing that you referred to earlier. You know, Robert, before you said you think the market is going to crash. So whether that's the stock market, real estate market, um, the question is, does it crash in nominal terms or adjusted for inflation? See, the stock market can stay the same right as it is right now. But if we get 10% inflation because of all the money printing, you'll actually lose purchasing power. You see, so the market can crash up just as easy as it can crash down if your definition of a crash is losing purchasing power. So if you're someone that believes like I do, that once the Fed starts printing all this money, the government prints all this money with stimulus and whatnot, they cannot stop. It's right. like a heroin addict. The only thing they can do is print more and more and more. Uh, and if they can't reverse course, then you need to start thinking through your portfolio in terms of hard assets. Correct. Something tangible. George, would you explain why you said that is the most stupid thing you could do? Because you're getting a future stream of dollars. That's all a, a bond is. You're, you're buying a bond for $1,000 and they're saying, okay, in 10 years, we're going to give you $1,000 back. And along the way, we'll pay you a, a little bit of interest. I mean, it's negligible uh, at best. So what happens if we have a high rate of inflation because of the money printing, you're going to get paid that $1,000 back, but it's going to buy you a loaf of bread. Right. So you don't get back your purchasing power 